El Paso is a city in the western part of Texas right on the U.S.-Mexico border. Due to its place on the Rio Grande River, the location has a storied history dating all the way back to hunters and gatherers in the Waco Tanks area, Spanish colonizers in the 1500s, and eventually the start of the city itself in the mid-1800s. El Paso today is one of the largest cities in Texas and is a popular town due to its location and the college that brings students from all over the world. We spent a few days exploring El Paso and here are some of our favorite spots. Let us know what we left off in the comments. First up is Downtown El Paso. Downtown El Paso is known for San Jacinto Plaza which is the park that's right in the middle and has a statue of alligators prominently on display. This statue was made in homage to the alligators who lived in the public park in the early to mid 1900s. The park was also where the presidents of Mexico and the United States met for the first time. It's a beautiful park with a cafe, art, and even public ping pong tables, plus it's a great meeting place in downtown El Paso. Walking around from there you should also visit the Plaza Theater, which is historic in the city, and the Museum of Art as well. Moving on from downtown, the next recommendation is the El Paso Scenic Drive. This is probably my favorite thing to do in El Paso as the views are awesome. This drive takes you up to a viewpoint in the Franklin Mountains that looks down over the city and out into Mexico. It's a great viewpoint, especially at sunrise or sunset. It's crazy that it's only a 10 minute drive from downtown El Paso as well. Be sure to also stop at Tom Lee Upper Park on the way down from the drive. It's a great spot for another view of downtown El Paso. Recommendation number three is UTEP. El Paso is home to the University of Texas El Paso. It's a huge portion of the city's western area and a fun place to walk around and explore. The campus has the popular Centennial Museum, Le Kong, a Bhutanese temple, and lots of art around the campus. I always love exploring these big colleges and UTEP was no different. Plus you can see into Mexico from many of the parking lots or a football game if you're there at the right time. Next up is the Casa de Azúcar. Casa de Azúcar is a private residence in an amazing palace of art done through the hard work of one man. He has been working on the house for over 24 years and it's really stunning to see. We got a chance to chat with him and learn about how he wants to keep El Paso beautiful and do his part to encourage the city that he loves. It's an enjoyable spot and be sure to leave a donation if you visit. Before leaving the downtown area for a few more recommendations, here are two food spots to check out in El Paso. First up is L J Cafe. If you only eat one thing in El Paso, make sure it's L J Cafe. This place has some of the best Tex-Mex I have ever had. From the salsa they give you that's hot and has a unique tomato soup base to the green chili enchiladas. It's always busy but it's worth the wait. I highly recommend the green chili enchiladas with raw onions, sour cream, and an egg, but the mole is also stellar as well. It's a great historic spot for an amazing meal in El Paso. Next up is Chico's. Chico's is a local fast food spot known for its rolled tacos, which are also known as flautas, that are basically drowning in a tomato soup based sauce. It's an institution in El Paso and a good spot for a cheap meal. I'll let you decide whether it's worth the stop or not, and be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. For these last three recommendations, we're leaving the downtown area of El Paso to explore a few spots outside the city. First up is the Mission Trail, which is south of El Paso. On the Missions Trail, there are three different missions to see from the 17th and 18th centuries, which are some of the oldest churches in Texas. I recommend driving the 9 mile trail and visiting each of them to see how each one differs from the others. When I went, only two out of the three were open to go inside, but it was still a great way to get a better understanding of the area's history. Next up is the Waco Tanks. The Waco Tanks is a popular climbing area outside of the city that is also great for hiking. The large rocks are home to caves, small sources of water, and even pictographs. Plan to spend a half day just climbing around and doing many of the short trails in the park. I like the Chains Trail best myself as it takes you up to a great viewpoint in the Waco Tanks. 
Lastly, if you have the time while in El Paso, spend a half day in the towns of Las Cruces and Mesilla. These two historic towns are only 45 minutes from El Paso and they have great Mexican food, fun downtown areas to explore, and the world's largest chili pepper. It's a fun adventure to have while visiting El Paso, and if you have more time, you could always head over to White Sands National Park as well. I have a video just on that park in the description. Before we end this video, here's three more quick stops that I didn't really get a chance to spend much time at. First is the Welcome to El Paso sign. It's just a fun place to take some pictures while you're in El Paso. Next is the Chamizal National Memorial. It wasn't open when we went, but I'd love to go back and learn about the history. Lastly, there's a Border Patrol Museum on the outside of town that you might be interested in checking out, and there's an aerial tramway that wasn't running when I was there. So that's it for my favorite things to do in El Paso. Let me know what I left off in the comments, and we'll see you on the next video.